Watermelon is it for people with diabetes, but many people mistakenly think that it is not. The reason has to do with the difference between glycemic index and its glycemic load. The glycemic index GI, is a measure of the effects of carbohydrates on blood glucose levels. Carbohydrates that break down quickly during digestion, releasing glucose rapidly into the bloodstream, like those found in white bread, have a high GI, 70 or higher, carbohydrates that break down slowly, releasing glucose gradually into the bloodstream, like those in whole grains and legumes, have a low GI, 55 or lower. The glycemic load, GL, is a ranking system for the glycemic impact of foods, based on their carbohydrate content, portion size, and glycemic index. Low equals 1 to 10. Medium equals 11 to 19. High equals 20 or higher. As explained in the book The New Glucose Revolution for Diabetes, researchers who posited that eating a small amount of a high GI food would have the same effect on blood sugar as would eating large amounts of a low GI food. Another issue with looking only at the GI of a food is that it's tied to the number of grams of carbohydrates in that food, and, obviously, that number varies by large amounts. Watermelon is a good illustration of this problem. Watermelon's GI is high, 72. The GI, however, is based not on a normal portion, but on 50 grams of carbohydrates, whatever the food. To get 50 grams of watermelon carbs, you'd have to eat almost 5 cups. GL combines both the quality and the quantity of the actual carbohydrates consumed and provides one number.